Welcome back to Prehistoric Kingdom. Trying to figure out park management here. Our money is running out. We are paused, and yet our money still ticks. If we look at this finances menu, we're like, just not pulling in money here. Our entry fee dipped, I don't understand why. Um, so we're pulling some money here off the food, the bathroom, donations. But then entry fee plus 117,000 last quarter. Yeah. I mean, we haven't spent our money as wisely as we maybe could. We could try out a loan. Repayment 12, 15, 30, total repayment 550. I mean, these aren't that bad. Maybe where the intent is to take out a loan, potentially. Well, we could take out a small loan of a million dollars. Go from there. Um, yeah, I don't know what dictates like ticket sales, really. Which makes it really hard to know what else I can do here. Not contain, enclosure zero. Let's take the loan. Try to get the protos in. Because that'll give us... Why is this now a, a net profit? Because of the loan for the month, I guess. Yeah, sure. Let's get that Protoceratops enclosure in and see how, what that does for us. So, uh, if we go ahead and grab... We could try another attraction here. This one's 14. Are you on ground level? You kind of look like it. You kind of look like you're on ground level. Okay. Yeah, so this one's height level looks decent. Okay. Do, do, do tree removal. Let's get rid of that tree that's clipped into it there. Great. Okay. Now, if we grab the cheap ass wooden fences, nothing snaps. That's probably fine because this is an elevated platform. Wah! Can't see in the dark. Jurassic Park is frightening in the dark. All oh, the dinosaurs are running wild. Okay, where is the end of my fence? Right there. This is probably a little on the big side, I think, but too late now. We've uh, we've committed to it. Okay, bonus ecology, sure. Why don't we incubate? Do I have to go? No, yeah. So like, no animals available. Is there not a direct shortcut here from this menu? Doesn't seem like there's a direct shortcut. 
Ah, here we go. So not quite direct, but a few layers deep. All right, we got our Protoceratops. Two, 170, not enough funds already. You're a little more pricey. Um, okay. We can go ahead and snag another loan. Uh, we just take the big one. If we breed one, is it going to be sad by being lonely? Maybe. But if we're not in the making a profit without it, we kind of need it. Whatever. Whatever. We'll just go massively into debt. That's how people make money in the real world. Um, to you, to you, to you. Two of you, 170. Let's make three of you. I wonder when it will become light out again. Also, what are we even doing during storms in this game? That's another good question. All right. I know we could speed this up further, but with finances being questionable, I don't really want to rush it down. We're at 1,000 science points now. Not on nav mesh, sure. All right. Protoceratops. This animal is one of the smaller species of ceratopsians, living alongside deadly neighbors like the Velociraptor. Oddly mm -hmm. enough, this animal lacks a lot of the more complex facial features seen in larger family members, like a certain three-horned celebrity. Can't see my exhibit because it's dark out. A little annoying. All right. You would like a little bit of desert shrubs, but we can't get them. And a little bit of this. That was quickly too much. Oh, geez. Okay. Okay. This is why we don't have any money. Wait, why am I still on clear foliage? Okay, don't touch it. <laughs> it's good. Don't touch anything else. Plant biomes, do, 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 water. Some water. Is there still coastal trees in here somewhere? God damn it. The dark night is very dark. Uh, too dark gets in the way of actually doing what you want to do. Okay. Habitat 85%, which is down to the nature being 85%. Enrichment. How about a uh, Block of frozen fruit. Okay, enrichment 100, sustenance 79, habitat. Yeah, so it's just this nature habitat stuff being off. And is anybody going to use this lovely viewing gallery I provided to you? Maybe not. Um, we probably should go ahead and slap in some dung beetles. Q. 
keep that uh, maybe a little bit better there. So finances, net profit, yes, but we got a loan, which is why we have that. Oh, the guy's on the ramp. Look at that. Okay, so that one works. So this one is just a little weird and elevated. Can we make this work? Like, what if we do? Do, 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 do. We can go to, like, the modular pieces, right? Awnings, doors, fences, walls. Where are our stairs? If we can find some stairs, we can just try. And put in, just extend the stairs out basically. Ah. Um, you know what? We'll just we'll just go ahead and do that. It's um maybe not quite aligned perfectly, but you know what? At least they can maybe go up there now, maybe. We'll see. I mean, there was only one guy walking on the stairs on this one. Oh, there's somebody going up. Look at him go. Wow. Go enjoy my dinosaurs. An attempt was made. Nope. I think she was just walking around it. Ah, you son of a bitch. Go up. Are you going up? Wait, it's working! They are going up the stairs. This one person wants to look at dinosaurs. Yay! Um, do that. Okay, okay. It's still pitch black out. Still can't see nothing that's going on here. Great, fantastic. Okay, the sun's coming up. So, uh, ecology situation being... Let's try and get the plants here working, I guess. So habitat, check needs, plant biomes. One famous fossil preserves a protoceratops and a velociraptor locked in battle. Hmm, I know that look in your eyes. I don't care if it's in the name of science. Don't put the two species together. We don't need to deal with another ethics violation where is this offending tree that's my question oh we fixed it i don't know how i don't know when but it's fixed don't touch it <laughs> we've done it hey now look at all these people heading up why are they all heading up here now over here too I guess now that it's daylight and they can actually see what's going on, they're more inclined to like go checking them out, maybe? Uh, financially, what are we doing? Financially, we're losing money again? I guess. Why are we pulling no money here? Maybe it's just because the new quarter kicked in, so the stats start low. I want to know like my instantaneous budget, and I really don't understand what I'm looking at. Profit last quarter, obviously negative. Well, maybe we just sit here this quarter, and we just try to make money on the existing park, and not spend money, figure out if we're solvent or not. I'm having a hell of a time figuring out. What we're doing financially. It's 
really, really unclear to me. Because it looks to me like we're still just bleeding cash, and I don't know what in the world we're supposed to be doing about that. Like, why is our net profit minus that much? Unless it's the fees being paid up front and the money has to still be made for this month, which I just don't know. Structure upkeep, 91000 Loan payments, yes. Hmm. Well, we can get some different skins. I mean, I would think it'd be we'd be better off getting different species than skins. I don't know. Unless it makes some difference on the success of the park, but I don't know. Just looking at its face, you might not realize that this was one of the first Ceratopsians. It may lack a frill and forward projecting horns, but you can still see the resemblance in its strong beak and its cheek horns. Little factoids are fun. Three twenty seven. Like, it's understandable being in the negative starting out, but like, the fact that we've got our starting dinosaurs in, we're still not achieving anything, unless I should adjust fees. I don't know. We're going to let it run for a little bit and see if it seems like we're still really bleeding money or not. And try to figure out how to read properly, interpret properly that menu. So I think... Oh, that's a lot of... Um, a lot of doo-doo over there, huh? Okay, so that takes just a little bit of money. How is there giant mounds of shit in the little Satakosaurus enclosure? <laughs> Absolutely enormous piles of crap. Yeah, I think we'll pause here for a little bit to try and get a grasp on um, what we're doing with our finances. So I'll just let the game run for a little while and we'll see if we're making a profit at all or not in the long run. So we've got basically the breakdown here. A full month has passed. We ran in the negative last month, right? So 61,000 in entry fees, 12,000 donations, 3,000 entertainment, 5,000 in food, 1,000 in the bathroom, nothing on shopping, um, which we could put into, I suppose. Then the big things that sunk us, structure upkeep 150 and loan payment 90. So we ran our profit minus 75. So the net profit being negative is just down to the loan repayment. So we weren't running... Insanely bad. Also, these don't align... You see this line here, minus 140? This is minus 75,000. What is the gridding here? Look at this. 10, this is 
plus 10. This is plus 58. But the zero line is right there? What? Weird. So this does change over time. So you kind of have to look at the previous month's breakdown, basically, to see where it's at. So we are running a profit if it weren't for the loans. So we're doing okay. So why don't we try and put in like maybe some shopping too? See if that helps. We could also bring in some more dinos. Um, if we look at the park rating. I mean, animal diversity is still nothing, even though we have two dinos, two species. Marketing doesn't seem to be available. Oh, maybe this gives us the good breakdown of income expenses. Except the... No, because this isn't... Because last month we ended up being only like 90k down. So I think this is the monthly payment, and then we have to make the income up over the month to make it ends meet. I think. It's a little hard to tell. Also, these things have no nothing filling in there. Ticket satisfaction, 10%. Ticket is a... Can I not even adjust ticket price? Huh. Okay, well, let's mess around with some stuff here. So... So it looks like putting in the, the module nursery is better because you're actually penalized by the other stuff. So we got food, visitor entrance. Do we not have, oh, apparel and gifts, okay. I was gonna say, do we not have um, shopping available, but it looks like we do. Okay. What part of this is properly the entrance? I guess that. We'll just go slap that down there, I guess. Okay. And there was like a ticket booth thing somewhere that we saw, wasn't there? I think there was. Ah, visitor ticket booth. Visitor entrance. Guest capacity. Guest capacity. Upkeep cost. I don't know if we need the ticket booth. Nutrition, shopping, nutrition, bathroom, bathroom. Okay, so these buildings being prefabs, we don't see like what they add. Shopping one star. So we'd be better adding like this junk. Interesting. We could try slapping down a vending machine too and seeing if that does anything for us. But I mean, we've got a food thing. We don't really get feedback on like what visitor needs are. So like, how would I know if I needed more bathrooms or more food? That's not clear to me. <laughs> I mean, facility, maybe it's just not really done. Like, um, because we just have five stars on facilities. Maybe we're supposed to be able to see ratings on this and they're just not really complete. That might be it. Going fast forward mode here. Okay, income upkeep, module effectiveness education. Okay. Generates 100 power, needed zero. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the power situation either. 
Income upkeep. Maybe we should kill these. Given that uh, power seems like it's fine. I don't know. Profit last quarter. Module effectiveness. Visitor entrance. Net profit. A little worse, but we built some stuff. Park management is less bad, but probably this is going to... Probably from demolishing? Yeah, I guess. Construction fees. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If we slap down a ticket booth, what does that do? Presumably, these are ticket booths in here, right? Yeah, those are those are exactly ticket booths. So presumably, another ticket booth achieves nothing. Presumably, given that there already are ticket booths on the entrance. Guest capacity is zero. I don't think these do anything for us, to be honest. I don't really believe that it does much of anything. Guest capacity one, three. I don't know. I have a nice vending machine right there, guys. That's for you. Enjoy. Maybe we should slap down a bunch of vending machines. Make money that way. Hmm. I mean, the entry fee we're pulling in here is pretty flat right now. Food drinks, shopping's pulling in 8,000. Food drinks pulling in 96. Can't see a breakdown. That's um, showing us specifically like what we're pulling from each of the food things. What about accommodation? Do these do anything? I mean, it's a hundred bucks for a table. That's pretty cheap. There you go. Have a table, guys. I, I'm so nice to you. Seating area one. I don't know. We'll just slap some stuff down, see if it makes any difference to anything. Probably doesn't. At least not at this stage would be my guess. Bathroom, bathroom, nutrition, and shopping. Yeah, so there's like no... At least as far as I can see, no accommodation stuff. Should we put down some animal shelters? I'm not sure on that either. Because they didn't really seem like they needed anything. Do we have some cheap shelters? We could just slap them down. 8,000. 4,000. 1,000. I mean, that's big, but it is cheap. Well, let's put one of these down in here because we've got a pretty open area and we'll see if that does anything for like the protos yeah shelter spaces sh housing is just like grayed out i think it's inactive i guess that's important if you're trying to avoid speedy thieves like velociraptor 
I guess that's important if you're trying to avoid speedy thieves oh. like Velociraptor. Little bit of uh, audio glitch there. Uh, we have no power down here. One thousand a month, two fifty a month. Uh, I guess. Sure. I don't know. I mean, we're in the negative again, but we spent a little bit of money here. We're going to end up bleeding out financially before we can um, pay back these loans or anything. Which makes some sense, I mean, we're in debt on loans, you can't expect to make money, right? Hmm. Seven and nine. What's that? actually mean well we can check out a different satakosaur or a different protoceratops i guess i want the green one Power available, power needed, power consumed, generated. Yeah, I just don't even, there's like no feedback on that. This middle menu option is completely unavailable. All right. Upkeep on this is 16 thou. We could just destroy this. That might be the play. Let's get ourselves, maybe, one of these guys. 255. Can't even breed you. Well, damn. We're not going to take out another loan. We're never going to have more money than what we have now. Because we are bleeding out. Pretty consistently, yeah. So last month net profit was negative 43. So we got better. Maybe with the power? I don't know. <clears throat> Structure upkeep and loan payment are the two things really sinking us. Oh, this month was worse. Better, but worse. Hundred fifty thou. Loans are gonna sink us. Well, that gets back quite a bit of money. So we got to just kind of roll with what we got here in the park now and get it profitable, I guess. And only once it's profitable can we actually bring in a hatchery and expand it again. This is also floating in the air, um, which I hate. Let's do a little bit of uh, adjustment to the elevation here so it's not floating weirdly. Still a little weird and floaty on that side, but sure. Yeah, and it looks like there's no real way, like the grass is always going to clip into like the, the hay and the rocks, which is a little awkward. That's fine. Uh, 
That's just all dung all the time. How in the world have you protoceratopses done that? That's an incredible pile of crap. Absolutely staggering. Get them, dung beetles. Clean that shit up. I don't know if that's uh, almost a deliberate joke reference, kind of, to, like, Jurassic Park and, like, the staggeringly large piles of Triceratops crap that show up in that, which are, like, kind of unreasonable. Can we change the color? Is this burning money? Maybe not. Okay, so we can try and like match this. Um, these previews don't look quite the way feels like they oughta. I guess it's more it's more of the pinkish color almost, a pinkish brown if that makes any sense in any world. Um, Yeah, whatever. It's a deliberate stylistic choice that, um, that it would look that way. Totally. I have another idea. With the padding, presumably, this would delete, like, the grass. Yeah, then you just have padding that clips over the building instead, which is also weird. I, I guess maybe the play is you put the paths down and then you put the building over the path, and maybe then it looks a little bit more natural, a little less weird. Yeah, like this whole apparel shop is just in the grass. There's just, there's just grass in here. Um... <laughs> I don't know what to do about something like that. Um, maybe there's a appropriate terrain brush that can be done. I mean, we could also just like do some pathing, maybe. I mean, that's only going to help where the path is. I mean, that just turns into rock, which doesn't really, you know... Oh, it almost fixes it. You can see the floor coming through there now. What, what would be the play? How would you make this work consistently? I don't... I don't know. Oh, remove grass. Oh, remove grass does the job. Okay. Nice. Okay, I mean, it's sort of works. Automatic slope painting. Oh, neat. That's cool. Okay, well, that's... Maybe we broke that by painting it. Paint maybe overran the base floor color? Maybe? Well, whatever. It's, it's, it's boned. It's never going to not be boned. Yeah, because if we go over here... Kinda worked. There's still grass. Ah, the grass like came back. What? I don't understand. Paint grass. No, remove grass. 
What? Yeah, because now it's going rock. Oh, man. So wait, the only way we get the grass removal to work? This just doesn't work. Wait, no, but it worked when we were in the building. I really don't know what's going on with that. Well, let's not worry about that any further. Um, somehow we fixed half of this building and ruined half of it. That's fine. I'm sorry, is this just part of the building? That there's a plant on the roof? Or is that inside here and it's clipping through? No, that's inside here and it's clipping through. There's just a whole ass tree in there. Is that just part of the design? There it goes. Okay. Yeah, I can't like remove grass. Remove water works. Yeah, this button just doesn't work. Maybe we. Oh, you know what? Maybe the the terrain is higher here, and we didn't actually remove grass. We painted rock, but the rock here is underneath the base level. That might be what's going on. If we go here, if we go like level. Ah. Yep, the terrain was slightly different heights. Can't see inside. Okay, um, it looks like we've done it, more or less. There's still this little bit here being weird, but. You know what? It's, uh... Oh, okay, 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 that, not what we want to do. Okay, um, no, you're not leveling, oh, no, don't do that, no, 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 we ruined everything, oh, my gosh, there we go, there we go, we fixed it, okay, shop is... Good enough. Yeah, so there's like weird things with terrain levels. So I guess basically if you don't want grass, you paint under it with like rock. And then that kind of works. Do we ever see a guest use like this restaurant kiosk? It doesn't really seem like it. I don't know if they do, but they go into the shop. So it seems like they should. Oh no, he's just, that guy's just in there. Okay, it works. Okay, sure. They just tend to spend more time on the paths than anything. That's fine. Okay, let's look at our finances. What are we doing? We're doing, we're bleeding, but we've been fucking around with terrain, which makes sense. How do we pull? Oh, because we scrapped the building. Mm hmm. Okay, and we're halfway done on the loans. We might turn a profit yet. Because the loan payment's 136, so we're pretty consistently pulling an actual net profit that's below that so we get these loans paid out then we're pulling a profit and then we're kind of just gonna have to hang out till we can build our lab again Yeah, that's kind of what it seems like. Um, okay, well, sure, why not? Okay, let's um, let's leave this one here, I guess. Now that we have the promise of an eventual profitable park, I guess, happening.
Oh, look at that skybox. Wow. And uh, probably next time there's going to have to be an extended period of me just like uh, letting the game run so I can uh, get through these loans and start actually making money.